Hi guys, thanks for joining for the first module, That's the very first module which is designing or design your governance and computing solution. This is going to be the first module. Within this module, we are going to learn uh, multiple things. But before we join to this module, I hope you have already seen the pre-module which talks about Tailwind Traders. That is a simple company. Uh, think entire the solutions with against a, a real business case. So we are going to take that company as an example in our course or throughout the course. So that being said, welcoming to this module and within this module we are going to learn about the design governance and computing solutions. So there, there are bigger uh, chapter, but within this, the very first one we are going to learn is design and governance solutions. So when it comes to the a word called or a term called governance we can describe this governance the general process of establishing the rules and policies so you could set your uh, rules and you could set your policies uh, that's that's what we can call it in azure terms as a governance and this governance ensures those rules and policies are enforced throughout your azure infrastructure so so you have a good governance strategy which will definitely help in and also you could maintain your control over the applications and resources that you're going to manage within this cloud environment in case if you don't have a very good governance strategy uh, or the policies then you're gonna end up with a messy cloud infrastructure right when you have a very good governance at the end you're gonna stay compliant with industry standards or security management or information security management related or corporate or organization standards uh, such as ensuring that the network data is fully encrypted or maybe governance is the most uh, beneficial when you have multiple engineering teams working in Azure or multiple subscription you want to manage or maybe regulatory requirements that you must be enforced to follow or the standards that you must have to follow uh, throughout your cloud resources so that's where this governance will help you a lot so throughout this course or throughout this module also we are going to use tailwind traders so it's a uh, fictional home improvement retailer it operates a retail harvest store across the uh, globe and also on online and Talwind traders CTO is aware of some of the opportunities that we are going to offer by Azure but also understands that he needs a strong governance so that's where he might be approached you as the architect so how you're going to you know end up uh, by providing you a solution in terms of uh, managing the Azure environment and the cost and all of that uh, you could track uh, you could track it with your governance so that's where the CTO is interested in understanding how Azure manages and enforces those governance standards that's what he he was looking so the learning objective for this module would be the design for your governance design for your management groups design for Azure subscriptions and resource groups as your policies resource tagging very important and as your blueprints so these are the things we are going to learn within this modules and at the end uh, in your exam you're going to measure design governance so when it comes as a design governance we will be uh, measuring the total seven different learning objects since we also have a prerequisite for this module is conceptual knowledge is definitely needed for your governance policies and resource groups subscription management and also you need to have a working experience with organizing resources and applying governance policies enforcing compliance requirements all of this stuff you need to know already and this is one of the prerequisites and just to give you a hint from AZ305 exam, you're going to get within these learning objects close to 25 to 30% of questions. So in case if you're preparing for 305 exam, make sure that you are focusing on this module, which is going to cover close to 25 to 30% of uh, questions just from design governance and computing solutions module. Let's have a look on a typical hierarchy 
uh, and this is going to be the normal hierarchy that you can see anywhere and this will have total four uh, levels so beginning with your management groups subscriptions and resource groups and the resources these are the four different uh, levels that you can find out from a designing uh, point of view for any typical azure hierarchy if you look at the tenant root group which uh, consists of all the management groups and the subscriptions so this group will definitely allow you for the global policies and, and also as your role assignment can be applied at this directly level so that's where the root group will be used let's uh, try to understand about management groups which will help you uh, in terms of managing your access and policies and complaints for multiple subscriptions this is gonna useful and this can be created the way you want it so that you can move your subscriptions into a different management groups and when we look at the subscriptions these are your billing boundaries right so your entire billing will be you know coming based on your subscription utilization and these subscriptions are your logical containers that can act as your management uh, management and you can you could even scale it the way you want it coming back to the azure uh, resource groups these are logical containers within your azure resources uh, can be deployed inside this resource groups so if you have a resource group called maybe a sales within the sales uh, resource group you could have a multiple servers which are directly represent sales team specific applications or maybe servers and the resources are if you could see here this is a resource group so within this resource group you have different type of resources could be a SQL server or automation account or your vnades or your virtual machines or storage and these are different type of uh, instances or the Azure services that are available within this resources thank you for watching this we'll catch you in the next lecture about management groups